a choir, uh, congregation, uh, scripture, old and new by Pastor Michael Barton, prayer, uh, Pastor Darwin Stevens, acknowledgement, condolences, we'll, we'll get to that after the prayer. And that was the
Hallelujah, let the church say amen. Come on, sir, church say amen. Even in times like these, the Lord cares. The devil would make you think of the day that God don't care. But it's in times like these that God shows his care. Hallelujah. For the Bible says, precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Those who die in the Lord are not dead, but they're only asleep. I don't know about y'all, but the morning is going to come. And since the morning is going to come, weeping may endure for the night, but joy is coming in the morning. I believe we come to celebrate the life of a saint who's gone home to be with the Lord. Come on, somebody ought to put your hands together and tell God, thank you. Hallelujah. Cry if you must to celebrate. Cry if you must to hold your head up. Let the tears fall, but hold your head up. Knowing that this is not the end, but it's only the beginning. We step out of time into eternity. And I believe that when you're in the presence of God, you experience the fullness of joy. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord in this place. Amen. Our scripture reading from the Old Testament is coming from a passage of scripture that I believe it's uh, the Lord speaking directly to all of us that are still here on today. Uh, Psalm number one, where God depicts uh, the two types of men who lives in this one world. Who's having two different directions in which he or she may go. And there are only two different def destinations in which we may end. Yes, but God is leaving the choice to us. Yes, Choose who you want to be, godly or ungodly. Yes, Choose which route you want to take, the righteous route or the ungodly route. Yes, end up in the place that you want to end up in. Heaven or hell is your choice. Yes, but the writer says in Psalm number one, blessed is the man yes, that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly nor standeth in the way of the sinner, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind drives away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. We believe that it is the plight of every believer is to spend eternity with God in this place where Abraham looked for, in this city that Jesus went to prepare. Yeah. And this city that John saw, and John said, I did see a new heaven and a new earth. But we want to call this scripture from the New Testament, 2 Corinthians chapter number 5. Oh, yeah. For we know that if our earthly house, this tabernacle, this body that we live in, were dissolved, we have a building of God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. For in this body, we groan, earnestly desiring to be clothed upon with our house which is from heaven. If so be that being clothed, we shall not be found naked. For we that 